Okay. So, uh, this is the BPSK simulation script that we had before. Uh, hopefully, you have you remember this, uh, how we were doing uh, uh, running the, uh, the uncoded thing, how we were using this randi command to generate messages, uh, etcetera, etcetera. Okay. So, now let us see how to modify this for getting the coding implemented. Uh, so, I am going to save this as uh, something else. So, I will say BPSK rep 3 sim. Okay. So, this is the coded case with the repetition code. So, the first thing is uh, we can keep maybe the EB over N naught at some more reasonable value 5 or something that does not matter. Uh, first thing is the rate, the rate is going to be 1 by 3. So, like I said uh, n equals 3 repetition code. So, this is uh, 3 symbols for 1 bit ok. So, 1 by 3 uh, bits per symbol ok. Uh, so, after you fix your rate the rest of the calculation is not too bad you your a b over n naught is 10 power uh, d b to regular value conversion and then you find the sigma corresponding to the a b over n naught ok. And then, uh, so this is uh, not quite uh, correct. So, there is no need for a theoretical uh, thing. So, we can uh, delete that, ok. So, so now here uh, we have to change things a little bit, ok. So, you will, uh, this n will not uh, really enter the picture. So, we can delete it off. So, you have blocks, each block is a code word block, ok. Remember that each block is a code word block. Let us say we simulate 1000, 1000 code word blocks. So, what do we mean by code word blocks? In one block, there will be one message bit, it will get encoded into three code word bits and that will get transmitted, ok. So, now we will have to do block after block after block, ok. Uh, so, it is useful to, to define a few things here. Uh, we can define k as the number of message bits. And we can define small n as the number of code word bits. Okay, so this is good to have. And uh, uh, once you have this, so let's go ahead here. The message itself for every block, this loop goes for every block for i equals one to n blocks. And then for in every block, I'm going to generate a random bit. Okay. So, this is this will just be 1. So, since I need just uh, k bits, I will put 1 comma k, ok. Generate random message, random k bit message, ok, alright. So, now I have to put in my encoding, ok. So, remember my encoding is just a repetition code and I know my k is just 1. So, I just have a 1 bit message here. Uh, one can do a lot of things here. So, I will do a very, very simple encoding. Uh, msg, 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 ok. So, this is n equals 3 repetition code, ok. Is that all right? So, now, uh, so encoding is complete. So, maybe I will put down a little bit of a gap here, ok. So, then you have the symbol vector. It is 1 minus 2 into not message, but code word, right. BPSK bit to symbol conversion for the code word and then after that uh, this is 1 comma n ok. AWGN channel goes here. Is that ok? So, hopefully you can see what I have done here. Nothing much has changed except that I have a k bit message in every block and then I have a code word. This encoding operation can be more complicated depending on what code you pick. For the repetition code, it is just message, message, message. There is no problem. Once you have the code word, everything is same as before. Okay, so, you do 1 minus 2 into c word. You remember how I did 1 minus 2 into if, if a code word bit is 0, I get plus 1. If the code word bit is 1, I get minus 1. Okay. And then uh, you have the value of sigma. You multiply this with n uh, Gaussian uh, random variables. Why, did I, why do I do n here? Because that is my uh, code word, right? So, I have to generate n Gaussian values uh, with, with the standard deviation of sigma. Okay, so, I do that added to the symbol vector s here. So, all these things become vectors. Uh, MATLAB is quite decent about handling these kind of things. So, you do not have to make much changes here, ok. So, after you get the received value, you have to do decoding, ok. So, you can do multiple types of decoding. Uh, so, so here I have done a thresholding at 0. Uh, so, maybe one can do 
hard decision decoding here. Okay. So, remember hard decision decoding, you are still going to threshold at 0, uh, but we call that vector as b, right? b. b is the vector which you did for thresholding at 0. And then I am going to basically see if uh, b is either 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 or 1, 0, 0, if it has a fewer number of <coughs> 1. So, let me show you the picture here. So, this is the lookup table I have to implement. Okay. So, there are various ways to implement the lookup table. I am going to basically count the number of 1s in b. If it is 1 or 0, I will make the code word as 0, 0, 0. If it is 2 or 3, I will make the code word as 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, that is my strategy. So, let us do that. Okay. So, if sum of b which is going to count the number of 1s is uh, greater than 1, okay, then uh, c word cap equals 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, actually I mean if you think about it you do not need the uh, message uh, the code word estimate, we can directly do the message estimate, uh, we can simply say the message estimate is 1. Okay, So, this is better, you, you can try to find the code word, but really you are interested in the message, right. So, that is, uh, so uh, you do that, else you say message cap equals 0 and then you can end it. So, that is it. Okay, So, that is a simple hard decision uh, decoder. So, how do you implement soft decision decoding? So, maybe I will call this as message cap 1 to indicate that this is hard decision decoding. Okay. Uh, the next one is soft decision decoding. Okay. So, in this case if you remember I have to do R1 plus R2 plus R3 and see if it is greater than 0. So, it is just simply sum of R and if it is greater than 0, I will set message cap 2 or maybe I will put that as less than 0. So, to have it similar to before equals 1 else message cap equal to 0, that is it. Okay. So, the these kind of uh, these kind of decoders for the repetition code are very, very easy to implement. Uh, hopefully, you agree with me that it is the same. So, I have done a hard uh, thresholding here. This is the threshold at 0. We spoke about how to do thresholding. You can simply set r less than 0. If it is negative, it will become 1. If it is positive, it will be 0. Right. So, that is how it is. And I am counting the number of 1s here. Okay. If the number of 1s here is greater than 1, okay, then I set my message cap as 1, uh, 2 or 3 that is. Okay. So, and here if uh, on the other hand if the number of 1s in B is 1 or 0, my message cap uh, 1 is going to go to 0. Okay. Now, you have soft decision decoding which is uh, uh, message cap 2 here, uh, 1 or 0. Is that okay? So, so here a number of errors. Uh, you have to either pick 1 or 2. Uh, so, maybe I will pick 1 here just to get the hard decision uh, decoder working. And then after that, uh, you have to make a bit of an adjustment here. The BER simulation will actually be n errors divided by k by n blocks. Okay. So, for every uh, block, you have one message bit here. There is no BER TH and we can simply plot this. Okay. So, this is how many bits, how many message bits were transmitted how many errors happened and what b are you got in simulation. Okay. Uh, I am going to run this, but let us uh, maybe increase the number of blocks to 10,000 okay. and uh, my e b over n naught maybe I will keep it as 4. Okay. So, let us run this. So, my the name of this file is bpsk rep3 sim. So, let me go to the command window. Uh, I do not think I am in the right directory. So, okay. So let's run this. Uh, so we need to do format short g. So there you go. Okay. So it gives you an error of 0 0.03. There were 300 errors, which if you remember, it's it's a good statistic. Uh, 300 errors, not too bad. And I we ran 10,000 blocks. So let's compare and see if uh, this is sort of uh, expected in the plot. Okay, so, 4 dB EB over N naught, uh, 1, 2, 3. So, this is point, 
0.3. So, you can see 4 dB EB over N0. Uh, this is the number that I expect and that is uh, 0 0.03, okay. So, it is simulating correctly. Maybe, maybe one can do uh, 6 dB as well. At uh, 6 dB, I expect around uh, 7 or 8 into 10 power minus 3. So, let us uh, let us run that as well. Uh, so, to get that, I am going to change the EB over N0 to 6, okay. Save it and then come back to the command window and then run it again, okay. So, you had 73 errors. Maybe this is not uh, very reliable. Maybe you can increase the number of blocks by one more. But the answer we got was what we expected around 7 or 8 into 10 power minus 3. Let me show that to you once again. So, this was around roughly uh, 7 into 10 power minus 3, okay. So, we are getting the right uh, right curve. So, it is working out quite well. Uh, let us do soft decision decoding for the same SNRs, uh, same EB over N0, 4 and 6, okay. So, I am going to do soft decision decoding. So, for that, uh, all I have to do is to change my message cap 1 to message cap 2. I am doing actually both. I am just not uh, using one of them. Uh, so, let us go back to the command window, okay. And now, uh, remember I am at 6 dB EB over N0, 6 dB EB over N0 and soft decision decoding. Doing this and you can see the gains, right. So, there were only 21 errors. Uh, maybe this is not uh, very good in terms of uh, reliability. So, maybe one can increase the number of blocks to say 100,000, okay. So, this will also give you reasonably good, good answers. Uh, so, if you repeat this, so you are getting uh, uh, 100,000 blocks simulated uh, 2.46 into 10 power minus uh, 3. So, one can check that this is the correct value as well. So, at 6 dB, EB over N0, uh, this is around 2.5, right. So, this point is around roughly around uh, 2.5 into 10 power minus 3, okay. So, that is pretty good. So, what we got in simulation agrees with that and you can see the gains at the same EB over N0 because you did better decoding, soft decision decoding, uh, you had a gain of about a uh, factor of uh, one half a little bit more. So, uh, 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 was the answer we got, okay. So, hopefully the, the this little coding exercise was uh, good in terms of showing you how to, how to do error control codes. Let me quickly run through. The first thing is the rate, okay. You have to modify that and that changes your sigma calculation and you have number of bits uh, in each, uh, the number of message bits in each block, number of code word bits in each block how many blocks you want to simulate and inside that you have the same picture. You do encoding, you do the transmission, you could choose to do either hard decision decoding or soft decision decoding, okay. This is how it works and then there are these minor adjustments in calculating the number of errors and all. Okay, so, that is repetition code field, okay. So, so, so far we saw the repetition code, we saw how to uh, implement it, maybe a little bit of analysis. And then uh, how to implement that in MATLAB as well. And we generated these curves and we plotted it and we saw that at the end of the day, we did not get coding gain in EB over N0. Uh, that is because of the way the rate is normalizing the SNR, okay. So, next code we are going to see is a very famous code. It is called a Hamming code. And in that code, we will get some coding gain, okay. It is uh, it's, it's the first real code that we are going to see. Uh, so, let us go through that. 